Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a five minute hourglass abs workout for you. I'm gonna share a couple of moves that are so incredible to help sculpt and shape your abs to get that nice definition on your sides, really working into the obliques. And this like is just like taking me back to my roots here on YouTube. Like when I first started, I did so many like five minute workouts and really targeting these different body areas. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be sharing more workouts here because we have an amazing challenge happening. And this is seriously like all about going back to like old school LSF. So our crop top crunch time challenge is starting in a few weeks. And you guys, we're doing a printable calendar. We're gonna have new videos here on YouTube for you that are like targeted workouts. I'm gonna be giving you two weeks free access to the Love Sweat Fitness, the app, the premium version that has my full personal training, step-by-step -step programming at your own pace, plus over a hundred full length videos with me. So like, if you love my videos and my workouts here on YouTube, you're gonna freaking love the app. So I'll put the link down below so that you guys can get signed up for the free challenge. You get all the free printables and access to that workout calendar and the app. And the whole point of this challenge is to really help target the lower abs, your obliques, get the whole shape and really tone that tummy so that you feel super confident heading into summer. So make sure you guys get signed up to join me for the challenge. I love this one and two weeks is so manageable. But right now we are gonna do the five minute hourglass abs workout. These moves, they're good. Like they're really good. So if you guys are ready for them, sweat the thumbs up, give it a click and let's start on our backs on the max. All the way down on the mat, lower down and then draw your knees in toward your chest, tuck your pelvis under and press that low back into the mat as you engage your core. So your back doesn't have to be like pushed super hard into the mat and as we move, it's gonna lift slightly, just have that natural curve. But just think about how you're tucking that pelvis and really engaging those lower ab muscles to support here. So start with just dropping your knees over to the right. If you feel like you're really tight in your back, you might just need to adjust your knees so they're not quite as high up and then breathe into it for a moment here before we start. But take an inhale breath, exhale, twist a little bit deeper, allow those shoulders to stay on the mat at first and then bring your hands behind your head and exhale, lift your shoulders off the mat. You're gonna feel your upper abs engage here. And right now we're really more targeting those obliques with our moves. So if this is too much, you can come down and just move the lower body. But we're gonna try to level up here. So from here, you're gonna extend that leg long. So your top leg is going off the mat pushing through the toe, take an inhale breath, stretch, then exhale, knee to elbow. Do you feel that little pinch right there? Yeah, exhale, bring it in and out. Good, in and out. And you can add the lift here. So I'm gonna walk you through the layers. Just keep moving. If this feels good, stay here. Otherwise, level one, you just have that knee coming in and out, engaging your obliques and your lower abdominal muscles. Level two, those shoulders are just lifted and static. And then three, we lift and crunch it in and lower. Good, in and out. Eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, hold up on one, little pulse to squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, Two, full range of motion, reach out, good. Exhale, out and in. Inhale as you find that length and extend and then exhale in the exertion as you come up to crunch. Eight, seven, six. Keep space between your chin and your chest. Good, gaze straight up. Three more, two and one. Exhale, let it go. Ooh, you feel those obliques start to burn? Yeah, that's what we like. Okay, so I'm gonna scoot to the edge of my mat a little bit here. Hug your knees into your chest. Drop them to the opposite side. I need to scoot a little more so I have enough room. All right, you guys, same thing. So shoulders are flat on the mat so your chest is square to the ceiling. You're gonna exhale. Lift your shoulders up off the mat, keeping the space between the chin and the chest. Engage your core. Extend that leg. Exhale in and out. Good, up and down. Shh. Can you get a little higher? Really squeeze it at the top. So good. So think about lifting your chest toward the sky, but then that knee is coming in and crunching down. Shh. Good, up. 
squeeze. Oh my gosh, those obliques feel it so good. It's so nice to target them in this way because they can be hard to get sometimes. Up. You got this. Eight more, then we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, hold up on one, pulse it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, eight, nice and slow, reach it, eight, seven, six, you got this, five, for four, three, two, and last one. Bring it in, come back to center. Now we isolated one side at a time. We're gonna hit both with little windshield wipers so your arms can come to the side for support. You're gonna bend your knees, drop your knees over to the right, and then squeeze your obliques on the left to lift it up and over like you're making a rainbow with those knees and drop. Good, up and over and drop, lift. You feel that? <laughs> It feels so good. I love when you can actually feel every inch of the muscle you're trying to work working. So I have those obliques on both sides, your deep core muscles and those lower abs all engaging here. And imagine you're like wringing out a sponge, right? That's where that hourglass shape comes from. Those obliques wrap around from the back to the side body to really help create that definition. Obviously, you can't just target, you could do this all day long and your muscle and your shape would start to change. But if you want to see that change on the outside, that's where your nutrition really plays a huge role. Side to side for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one, come to center. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a quick break. We're gonna reset with some legs and lower abs here to really help create that whole shape. So yes, your obliques are what give you that curves on the side, but your low abs also will help create the shape and create that definition on the lower belly. So from here, extend your right leg long. You're gonna tap and bring it in, then left. So your thumbs can come under your tailbone for support. You can also challenge yourself, let's get back a little, challenge yourself to lift your shoulders off the mat. How does that feel? So good. <laughs> ah, all right, you guys, we got this. So I roll all of my meal plans to really help like all women who are going through what I went through, struggling to lose weight, struggling to lose stubborn belly fat, sick of crazy diet culture, bad diets that never gave you those lasting results. But my meal plans, I eat good food. I eat real food and I eat a lot of it. The Guiltless Nutrition Guide is such a good one too because there's like 130 recipes I have in there for you that are all just yummy, healthy food that's super easy to make so you don't ever feel like you're restricting yourself because you're not or having to give up things you like because you don't. It's just about learning how to make them better for you and learning how to fuel your body in the right way so that you use it during workouts like this. All right, right. Notice we went into like a full bicycle here. Uh-huh. I just talked you through it, so you're like, what's happening? Oh, okay, full bicycle. And my abs are on fire, but I didn't even notice. Let's go. Eight, switch, seven, yes you can, come on. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Exhale, take a full body stretch. Come onto your stomach, let's stretch it out. Drop those hips, lift your chest. Good, maybe drop a little weight into one side and into the other. Inhale again, set your hips back. You guys, we're gonna be just crushing these abs over our two weeks with crop top. It is gonna feel so good. If you're feeling that a lot right now and you're like, I'm good, just be done. If not, you can always repeat it a couple times to like really blast those abs. Good, one more time, inhale, lift center. 
and exhale, find a seat. I told you guys, five minutes and those abs are already on fire. So if you want more like that, make sure you guys join me for the Crop Top Crunch Time two week challenge. It's gonna be so much fun. The link is down below. And if somehow you're not subscribed to my channel, girlfriend, hit that subscribe button because I have new videos for you every single week. Love you guys so much. Don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So we'll see you soon. Bye.